okay welcome back to another video welcome to my channel to my subscriber i do appreciate all of you i welcome you to vlog with rubes my name is vlog with rubes and today i am going to be motivating you with a 2024 aim and desire <clears throat> today in this video i am going to be speaking to you about how you go about owning your own home and um, the pros and the cons of owning your own home. In today's world, if you don't have the raw cash or if you have some cash and um, you can buy a piece of land, <coughs> sorry about that, I'm always worth, and you can buy yourself 400 block can be your one big unit. <coughs> not inclusive of so it's like five fifth block can be your one bedroom unit plus a bathroom uh, the right size bathroom right and um if not working you're going to the nht or to a mortgage department what you need to do is you go first of all you got to go to the nht you got to take your or any loan institution that lend you loan regarding a mortgage you gotta take your ID uh, first of all you need your ID you need a hearing you need at least three months pay slip to prove your income if you are self-employed you need to bring your business account to show that you you are actually working because work doesn't just mean that you are working for someone you can be working for yourself working means i'm going to work today it doesn't mean you're going to somebody else place of the job you are going to your workplace you are the one that is putting in the effort for your business so you call it work so you bring in your bank statement your TRN, your NIS, your ID, which is the bank statement is like a proof of income. Then you go to the NHT or whatever lending institution. They look at it and they said, okay, you, Miss Rubes, you are qualified for 10.5 or 7.5 or 8.5. If you are going to be borrowing from the bank your criteria these are the criteria too you're going to the nht first to go to the NHT, you have to get yourself an eligibility letter from your place of work an eligibility letter being it's a proof that you are being employed and your nht contribution has been deducted from your payslip from your salary and is being paid to the nht on a monthly basis that is to prove your years of contribution and you have to be working for a year one year time you are qualified for a mortgage loan you are qualified for a loan right a year 12 months 12 months you are qualified for a loan so actually you need to stick to your job for at least a year so you can gain that benefit and you also have to ensure that the money that is being drawn from your salary has been paid over to the NS to the trust so that you can own your own home so when you get the, the eligibility letter it goes with your TRN, your NIS, your ID, your pay slip, three months pay slip. And they go there, they look at it, they go on the system, they look, they see that you are indeed contributing. If you are not contributing, and these are the things that you are to do, these are the things that you are to do specifically, you have to be on top of things like you have to be on top of things like checking with the nht to see if they are not you go to the um compliance department 
and then they will tell you what to do. You have to go back to your employment if it's not there on the system because everyone that is working deserves to have their own home, right? So you go there and you they look on the system and they see that, okay, you are qualified for X, Y, Z. You are qualified for 8.5, 7.5, 10.5. .5. Either you are going to be building your own home or on your own land or you are going to seek something into a new development or you are going to seek an open market sometimes the open market gives you more value it's not a open market it's not a new home it is sometimes it can be a new home because it can be one of those building development and you use your energy contribution to buy that new property from a developer right it doesn't have to be an energy scheme it can be from a developer i will not be calling any developer name because you have developer that would be an advertisement for them although it is nice to tell you though so you can watch it and go like you can do Gore development. I'm gonna say it anyway. I said I'm gonna be advertising, but you can apply to the Gore development for housing units. So you can pay with NHT money to Gore unit, your Gore, or they can finance you 100% and you just pay Gore their money, their mortgage fully every month. But this is the important part. Even if you get that home through any part of trust, whether through the bank or through Gore or through NHT, you got to pay your mortgage. You have until from the first to the fifteenth of each month. Sometimes you you're not going to be on time, but make sure you pay your mortgage every month. Because if you don't pay your mortgage every month, eventually you can lose your home if your home reach and it's not going to show you out of your house automatically in a day if you owe your mortgage for a period of three months to six months you are liable that they are liable of giving you notice for or sell your home sell your home they are going to send you a letter or so but they will sell your home and you become homeless if you don't pay your mortgage. Sometimes you have so many expenses, but the most important of all importance is a shelter over your head. And once you have a shelter over your head, that is so important. Paying your mortgage, you have people that said, oh, I'm, I'm not going to pay any mortgage. It's better to pay your mortgage than pay rent. Because eventually one of the one of those days is gonna come when eventually that home is yours. Actually, the title of that property, the tax documents for that property, is in your name, so it's actually your home. So your duty is to ensure that you supply whatever needs there to be done, like paying your mortgage every month. The first thing you take out is your mortgage every month and you pay that bill because you can be homeless again you understand give me a minute i'm coming back so i just went and checked on the podcast i'm also cooking so when you go and you as i was saying that owning your own home is better than rent because when you have your own home you are at peace of mind even when it is empty even when it is empty this part of the room that I'm sitting in right now, it only has a dining table with eight chairs. That's all in this living area, this living space. But I am planning on dropping things in it. I'm planning on dropping things in it, get it fixed or whatever. But as I said, owning your own home is at peace. That's everyone's dream. The greatest dream you could ever have is owning a home home. Do not follow anybody and say, um, you paying mortgage is like us paying rent. It's not. It's not like it's not the same. Paying rent and paying a mortgage could never be the same. 
because you pay your rent, your mortgage, you pay your rent to somebody, and they can give you a notice tomorrow. You pay today, they can give you notice tomorrow because you're paying personally. You're not paying to a trust. You can go into a trust or the bank, and they said, "Give me a little time to come in and pay." It's due on the first of each month, but give me a little time to pay. But it's your home, but your duty as a homeowner is to ensure that you pay your mortgage on time. I'm not going to say that everybody cannot own a home. Everyone will, if they put your mind to it. You will own your own home if you put your mind to it. Right, so... As I said before, your ID, your TRN, your NIS, your birth certificate, because they need your proof of age, your birth certificate, job letter, which is which is eligibility letter, job letter, to prove that you have been showing your NHT contribution from X point to X point. You need that one from your employer. You go in, they told you how much you're qualified for. They, t they look on the system, they see, they tell you how much you're qualified for. They give you the instruction of what and what is required whenever you find that house or that piece of land. And on that piece of paper that they will give you, yeah, they will tell you what to bring back. And the things that you are to bring back to the NHT after, if you find a suitable place that that a value of the money that you are qualified for, and they will pay you on pay a hundred percent coverage for you. The trust can do that for you. Pay if you don't have down payment, they will pay for you. Some some seller wants from you a five percent deposit some require a 10% deposit from you and these deposit they use it to clear off back taxes to clear up to transfer paperwork from you to the from them from from the seller to you which is like pay clear off taxes or water bill the, 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 that's the vendor. The vendor have to pay off all these bills and transfer a paper. So they use those down payment of 10% and 5% to do all these paperwork for you. So the trust will tell you bring back valuation report, which valuation report is a, is a booklet that you get from a valuator. And this booklet from a valuator is, consists of the permit of fence, the portfolio number, they come in and they measure, they come in and see if the property has any fault. That's what the valuation is. They come in and structural engineer, sometimes you have to get a structural engineer to come in and test how sturdy the building is. Yes, a structural engineer is someone that you have sometimes, sometimes you have to get that because we had to hire a structural engineer when we were purchasing this place so that is very important too you don't have to but we did get a structural engineer to do our work for us when we were purchasing our home so you get that valuation valuator get that a proper one you don't get just get any any evaluator you get a valuator that is honest an honest valuator they come in and they say oh this is this is need to be done this need to be corrected and sometimes when the valuator finish their valuing sometimes the money reduce sometimes the money reduce it is up to the seller to increase if there is no no default, no fault. But if sometimes the valuator can decrease the value of the property, if they come and they see this window, window missing, door need changing, grill need changing, um, 
crop need to be filled. These these are clause that needs to be corrected after you purchase a property. If the property values ten million, a million can come off of it. If the house has fault and you see the fault and the valuator value it and give you the valuation report, you take it back to the NHT, you get a surveyor report, survey and valuation report. These two things are important after you go to the trust and they said you're qualifying for this and they gave you the paper and you go and you look and you find your property. Open market, sometimes the open market fixer upper is very, very good. Sometimes you get a house, you see a house out there somewhere and it won painting, it won window changing and it's on it's selling. Sometimes a fixer upper is valuable. All you got to do when you get that fixer upper is keep a prior, keep prior meeting in it. Bless it, sanctify it. You paint it or you buy the fixer upper and you fix it up. You put in windows, put in door, all that room wasn't building one day. So eventually you're going to take your time and do adjustment. But the greatest part of this matter is, is when you get that home, you get that key and you're in it, even if you have no bed to sleep on. Even if you have no bed to sleep on, you spread a sheet on the ground or a piece of cardboard and you sleep in it. You bless it. Hand it over to God and you sleep in it and you say, thank you, God. Eventually, you're going to buy a bed one at a time. The first thing you're going to buy, you buy a bed, bed one at a time. You buy a pot, you buy a spoon and you take your time and you buy it. But this important part, don't forget to pay your mortgage. But buying a fixer up a house, buying a home and put it empty house and you're going to go live. Blessing. Come afterward. So... This is what I am saying to you today on this video about regards in purchasing a home. Um, they are saying about resolution, New Year's resolution. I have a resolution. I know what I want for my New Year resolution. And I am asking God to help me, help my channel so it can grow, so I can be monetized and so on. And open my eyes so I can see the unseen. And then my resolution because i'm working on my resolution what i want for my resolution and my also i talk about other things that i would want my wish is i am working on also on that but as i'm telling you today my subscribers my people of jamaica my people of the world wherever you are and your mind is set on owning your own home this is only the this vlog that i am doing right now is not from my international viewers i don't know if it's the same procedure in owning a home internationally but this what i'm saying right now is for jamaicans this instruction that i'm giving here is for persons that are living in jamaica or a person that is living outside of jamaica that wants to purchase a home in jamaica and if you are internationally you can still show your nht monthly self it is called self-employed contribution you can send that to jamaica and you go and you pay that money at the tax office the nis they will join the nis out of uh, your the tax whatever they did of whatever out of your money is, is you now as to contribute but this is you can stay anywhere in the world and pay your nht contribution as long as you have a trn and your nis card and you are and Jamaican. I don't know about other persons if they can contribute to the trust if they are not a Jamaican citizen. I don't know how that part works, but I'm only talking on behalf of Jamaican people at, in this video regarding how should they go about owning your own home. And um, it's important also to have a down payment put down. Save, save, save do not forget to save don't spend all of it don't lay with your salary and wait until it's reached into the bank they say okay you withdraw all of it save 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 the bank is going on with a lot of things right now but all you got to do is have a container and you come you draw five thousand you put it in that container each time you get your pay eventually you turn a blind eye to it don't ever look back on it and say oh i'm gonna open the pan i'm so broke 
God will provide just same for your home because having your own home is very very important and it's ease your mind it ease your mind because landlord ain't easy and tenant ain't easy either but in order for you to achieve your achievement you have to do these things put these in place put your personal documents together get up one day and you just go there and you said okay this is it and i'm going to own my own home and you step there with a blessing walk around and seek homes in communities i'm not sending you to places that you should not be safe go to places that you think is safe for you or where you think you can live and where you think you can live where you can tolerate and you look for horses that are there because there's a lot of horses that are selling but it's for you to locate it there's a lot of homes there for sale but it's it's on the open market because if i was buying a home right now i'm going i know here is that i would definitely go to seek homes and sometimes you get horses so reasonable all you got to do some of them you don't have to do nothing to it some of them you just need to buy some paint paints are expensive at the moment but at least you can drop yourself a one one tin of paint and you paint it out yourself if you're a great painter i paint most of my house myself only the outside i haven't painted because i can't paint the outside it's too high for me i can paint the lower part but the upper part i can't so i paint most of my household i don't vlog everywhere in my home i just some part and vlog like the kitchen in the bathroom here or sometime I've had dancing or something I don't vlog everywhere in my home only some part so this is just my encouragement for you today and my motivation for you today for 2024 on how to go about achieving your goal of owning your home home and things that you are to do I'll be doing another video in the future not far from now regarding what you should do whenever you purchase your home what you should do what are the things to look out for and so on anyway thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video to my subscribers please remember to like Comment, subscribe, share with everyone and make your dream a reality.